Welcome to EC Electric, our soap opera, as the job turns. Starring James and Gennady. Gennady, aren't you expected on the fourth floor today? I am, but I had something really important to bring down today. Yeah? I've been thinking about this all week, and I know it was time that I brought this to your attention. What, are you quitting or something? I have my Apprentice Development Weekly Report to turn in. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I fill these out once a week, and I show it to my journeyman. It just goes over the tasks that I've performed this week. It also and talks about the tools you were using, right? Absolutely. Some of the things I've done this week have been grinder operation and sawzall use. Yeah? And did James show you how to use those properly? I did. I, uh, I noticed that uh, his initial run on the sawzall was... Uh, a little off. He was holding it upside down. So after a little bit of coaching, I think we got him straightened out on that. Well, and he is a first parade apprentice, so we do rely on you for that, right? Correct. Correct. Um, he's also used some portable power tools this week. Gennady, how did that go? Well, p portable power tools I've used this week have included portable band saws and impacts. Those went really well, thanks to James. He's taught me how to hold the portable band saw correctly, and that helps a lot when I'm cutting conduit. Excellent. So you yep. do this weekly? That's correct. And then you go over it with your journeyman? It's a good way for uh, the journeyman, myself, to uh, see what he's been doing. And then uh, as we go through the job, we can uh, put him on different tasks so that he's well-rounded as he gets through his apprenticeship. Excellent. And then you just bring it in to him uh, weekly or so? and Normally by the end of the week, I turn it in to Show it to him, go, go over it, it and he'll yeah, sign it. We'll go over it. it, I'll sign it, date it, and then I will uh, give it to our foreman. Curtis Crane, who then will uh, do his thing and file away. Well, it looks complete. I'll file, sign, date, and forward it on to EHS. And then, is that the end? Well, because it is the end of the month, I do have another form to turn in, and that is my Apprentice Mentorship Program Evaluation. Ah, I remember these. So, at first we said we would do these like towards the end of a project, but in this case we have a long-term project, so we're doing these monthly here. So, what are some of the questions? Apprentice and journeyman have good working relationship. I see you gave James high marks for that. Absolutely. James and I work very well together. And I feel like he is helping mentor me to become an even better apprentice and eventually journeyman. There are five questions in total for the relationship between me and James. And then there are some more questions about safety concerns as well as rotations. So one of the questions I see is, are you comfortable talking to your journeyman about safety concerns? Is that something you're comfortable with? Absolutely. Here at EC, we know that we have a very safety-oriented culture. And EC has taught me that I can't talk to supervisors and my journeyman about safety concerns that I have. Do you have any recent experience doing that? Well, just this month, when there was that heat wave, a lot of people were drinking more water, as they should be, to stay hydrated, and we were running out of water up at the job site. So I spoke to James, and he passed it up for me that we were running low of water, and he made sure we got some more water upstairs. So you bring this in monthly, and you get a chance to go over it and discuss it with your journeyman and with your foreman, and we get an opportunity to help you develop or change your tool partner, give you a different mentor, or give you different... Uh, work out there in the field, right? Absolutely. Well, that's great. I think this is a really great program, and thank you for participating in it.